Hello friends and welcome back to Sketch by Sketch. Today I'm going to be testing out this Ohuhu 24 color marker set. This is the Skin Tones. I recently received this for my birthday. Here's the swatch card I'm holding in my hand over there of all the colors that this comes with. Here are the markers themselves. They come in this handy carrying case. They're super cool just like the other Ohuhu markers. Um, if you're wondering what this drawing is, I did a video a couple days ago where I drew this and I did the liner. It is for my original character drawing challenge for the month of May and I had to design a friend character for my original character. So um, back to the markers. Uh, this is what the actual marker looks like. They have a chisel tip on this side and then on the other, which is marked with a gray line on the cap, we have a brush tip. These are not fine tip markers. These actually have a brush tip like the Copic sketches. Um, and as far as my experience, they are the closest thing to a Copic marker without spending that much money. So I um, personally love the Ohuhu markers. I didn't have any concerns buying these. I just wanted to try the colors in the skin tone set. And um, as far as my experience using them so far, uh, it comes with a great variety of colors, some pink tones, uh, purple tones, pretty much comes with everything you're going to need to color any kind of skin tone. Um, it has everything. And I just personally love the ink and the Ohuhu markers because they are so similar to Copics, which are my favorite markers, but I try not to use them on everything because I don't want to use up all my ink and need a bunch of refills. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is just coloring the skin on my characters. Um, and then I'm going to have a part three to this coloring of this where I review the pastel set of Ohuhu markers. It was recently my birthday, so I got some new supplies and that is why I'm doing this drawing in three parts. It wasn't really the drawing. I don't even like the drawing that much, but I just thought it would be a good one to get to review all this stuff. To start out here, I'm just coloring in some of, um, not really the shadows, but just uh, leaving the highlights white for right now. So pretty much anything that's not super highlighted, I'm just coloring in with this tan color. Her skin is kind of an olive yellow tan color, um, so that's why I'm going straight in with this tan so it doesn't get too light. Um, but we're also going to lighten it up in a second so it's not too dark. Now I'm going to go in with something a little bit darker and create some more shadows. Um, pretty much just where I was just working, but um, don't cover the entire area as you can see. And these markers really blend well together. Um, they are pretty much just like Copics. I know I keep saying that, but they really are. And they are a much, much cheaper alternative. If you're interested in a more in-depth um, review and tutorial of Ohuhu markers, I have a review of the 140 eight pack I do believe. I think that's how many are in it but I'm actually not sure. Um, but um, it's a big review where I swatch all the colors and uh, tell you all my thoughts about it. So that is on the channel if you want to go check it out. Now I'm adding blush to my characters. usually do this on the cheeks, nose, and a little bit on the arms. Now I'm just going to go in with this kind of really light skin tone um, where all those highlights were just to kind of blend everything together and it's really making it um, come together and have a seamless color to it so it all looks like one skin tone coming together. This is how I color with any of my markers. It, it doesn't matter which ones I'm using. I'm going to use these same steps. And while I had that one out, I'm going to go ahead and color her skin all over because her skin is a much lighter tone. So um, I do it just a little bit differently. So just go ahead and color in the lighter skin tones all the way with the super light tone. Always make sure you think about your colors before you put them down um, and think of which colors are going to really go together. Make sure you use your swatch sheet and don't trust the colors on the cap because sometimes they can be different. Now I'm just creating a little bit more shadows. Um, nothing major here, but I am going in just a little bit more to kind of make the shadows a little bit deeper and make the drawing a little more interesting. Thank you. 
Now I just went in and kind of blended that all in with a little bit of a darker tone because the skin tone needed to be just a little bit more tanned. Um, my character is um, a little bit of a Spanish uh, type of character, maybe Latina. Um, she is American, but she definitely has a little bit of history there, so um, I always draw her a little bit more tan, and she of course has her darker hair, so I think she's a really pretty character. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend that in once again with that light skin tone. Now, um, for this character, I'm going in with a little bit more of pinkish tones uh, rather than that olive skin tone that I just added for my character. Um, well, they're both my characters, but my very first original, her friend, is going to be a little bit more pink toned and um, lighter skin. So I went in with this kind of mauve color um, to add some shadows. I really like the style that I drew these characters in. They almost look kind of Disney or animated, so I think they look really cute. And these pauses here are just me trying to think of colors to add to this drawing, and I thought I'd just leave them in to give you guys a chance to follow along with me, so that's what I'm doing if I'm pausing for a second. Alright, now I'm going in with this kind of a terracotta color. Um, I don't know what the markers are actually called, I'm just kind of naming them myself here, but um, I'm just going to add a little bit more of that shadow. And as you can see, I was able to get two very different skin tones with the same marker set. So that is very helpful, um, especially if you're just starting out and you need to get something cheap, but you want to be able to draw many different characters and make them all look different. This would be a great set for you to get because you could draw any character you want with any skin tone and you're going to have the markers to do it. Also these markers do not run out quickly. I've been using my set for uh, probably over a year and I've done many challenges where I'm coloring every single day for like a month at a time um, with these. So um, very good markers. Here's the finished art. Um, I think it turned out cool. Stay tuned for part three and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.